It's 4.51 in the morning, New Orleans time. We're on our way right now to Orlando. It's a nine hour drive, second longest drive we're gonna have to make. I don't know why I do this to myself and send it so hard, because I eat red meat, they don't know that. But we're on our way right now. Ashley, Tara, we'll see you guys in like nine hours. See you there, guys. I'm really excited. Ready to come with us? Here we go! Oh, oh yeah! Five a.m. on Thursday the fifteenth. I am waking up clearly. Oh, I haven't been up this early in a long time to get ready because Tara is about to come get me. So I'm gonna get my life together. Can't tell that I'm excited, but I am excited. But I'm also a bit nervous. But we'll talk about that in a bit. And we are off. Tara is here, and I don't know about any of you if you traveled since the pandemic, but I have not been on a plane since everything started. And I am the anxiety queen of America right now. I've literally checked that I've had everything like 35 times because I just don't know what I need to travel and I don't know what's going on and I just am like, am I gonna need this? Am I gonna need this? And my bag looks like I am packing for 20,000 days. But that is typical me because you gotta have options. We just went through an awesome bridge. I think we are in Alabama. Yeah, we're in Alabama. We're in Mobile, Alabama. Right now we're taking this bridge. It seems like it goes on forever. So this morning, Jim and I got up at 4.30 New Orleans time, left New Orleans, went through Mississippi, met a really nice girl at a gas station named Nikki. We told her we drove from LA. She goes, wow, that seems like a far, far away. Yes, Nikki, it is. <laughs> really far. So right now we're passing Battleship Parkway, which is leading us from Mobile, Alabama into Florida. It's this really long bridge. Tara just texted me that she forgot the parking thing, so she just had to turn around. But we are all Looney Tuned because none of us have gotten on a plane, and I just feel a bit stressed out. I know it's gonna be fine, but I don't know. Nick and Jim woke up at like 5 a.m. New Orleans time. I think they're currently driving, and I know it doesn't seem like I'm excited. I am excited. I'm just not excited yet, just because I'm like anxious, but I'm sure you guys can feel me on that. So Carl will be here any second. I think once I'm on the plane, I'll be good to go. I just know it's gonna be different. You know, when it's like since pandemic, when like something's just different and you're just like mentally preparing yourself, that's how I feel at the moment. All right, guys, we are just outside of Tallahassee on our way towards Gainville to get off the I-10 to jump on the 75 South. Can't believe we're actually gonna part ways with the I-10 here in a couple miles. It's a little sad. It's been a good freeway to us, honestly. It's been great. I think you your leg from San Antonio to uh, New Orleans was probably the hardest drive and Nick killed it, so way to go, Nick. Thanks, bro. As you know, we left this morning at 5 a.m. from New Orleans and it's currently 1046 here in Florida time. So we're about 200 miles. The last leg of the, the drive is about to happen right now. I'm taking over, let's party. Okay, social distancing at the airport does not exist. And I know everybody can be like, Ooh. I get that. I'm just letting you guys know that at the airport, there's no social distancing. Even the airline attendant chick was all up on my jock. I'm like, yo, chill out. And Tara just got, he almost took away my box of hand sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> like, but what he, the heck? No, he said that they have to test it. Um, oh, okay. So he just like wiped it down. Oh, like, okay. Outside. This isn't a necessity. Walt Disney World, we don't need to be there. We're trying to get content for all you. I know I don't need to travel, but I'm just letting you know there is no social distancing. And I'll probably be worse at Walt Disney World. That's just the gamble we're gonna take you guys, okay? All right, everyone. So we are in Gainesville, Florida, home of the Gators. Doing a little pit stop to get some Chipotle. Cause you know, Jimmy loves some fritas. Everyone knows that. Some fritas. Then we're gonna get back on the road. We're about just under two hours away from our destination of Orlando, Florida. We're gonna beat the girls there. Everyone knows that. So let's go get Chipotle. I don't know if you can hear me, but we're about to board the flight. <laughs> Yes, let's go to Disney World. Let's go. I don't know if you can hear me, but next stop, Orlando. Yeah. So we're some gonna look the whole trip out. Yeah. We look so ugly, but it's okay. Oh.
We are here in Orlando. I need a cocktail and some Mickey Mouse in my life. Right, guys we're finally exiting the freeway jimmy and i have been on the road for too long i think it's almost been 2700 miles of total driving but we're pulling up to our hotel right now about to check in meet up with the girls and yeah we're gonna set up camp because orlando is gonna be our home for the next six days oh <laughs> okay guys we just checked in we're over at the windham bonnet creek yeah windham bonnet creek club we're staying in tower two we're headed up right now to go see what our room looks like settle down take a shower and kind of adjust and see what happens all right guys just found a little dough We made it. We didn't have to drive. <laughs> Losers, you know, everyone drives nowadays, duh. Okay, so before we get into some more editing and stuff, we're taking a look at Disney Springs and then check it out. Tara and Ashley have dinner resis, so let's see what it's all about. Yeah, we've never been here, and last time when I no, came with Candace, I have been here. oh, Tara's been here, but when I came with Candace last time, she's like, I've never been to Disney Springs. And I was like, no, I've never been here. And she's like, oh my God, it's the best. So I'm really excited. Better live up to the hype. So one thing I am noticing after walking into Disney Springs is security check. Here it's just a temperature check and they kind of let you go through. At downtown Disney, they you know, they check your bag, they have the dog check you, they check your underwear, all that stuff. Yeah, they check your underwear. Okay, we're at the Disney style store. I've loved downtown Disney, but this is lit. I mean, I need to get this. And the colors in here, it's just like, I don't know what's different. Probably because I'm at a new place. They have really good stuff here. I want to buy all of it. As you know, we frequent downtown Disney pretty often and none of this stuff was offered just last week. And it's cool that they have a different variety from store to store, coast to coast. Disney style might be the best store so far. I wish we had that in downtown Disney. But right now the gang and I are headed down to go pick up our tickets from Will Call. Um, it's a ticket center here. We bought them through AAA, so we have to do this extra step. No biggie though. But we save money. When you buy through AAA, anybody thinking of traveling out here, if you get your tickets through AAA, you get a discount. And we wanted to save money on this trip, so we booked them. But it is a bit inconvenient, but not too inconvenient, so it's okay. 